Hello everyone, this is Dr. Clinton from The Heart of Medicine. So that's our Instagram uh, handle and my YouTube is cclinton09, but you can follow whichever or follow both. And let's talk about this crazy masterpiece I have here on my table, two masterpieces. So what is this thing? This is an a stethoscope, right? You know what this thing is? Everyone knows what this thing is. What is this thing right here? You have no idea, right? You probably don't know what this thing is. So we'll see it soon. We'll see it in a second. So why do I want to talk to you today? So basically this is unpaid sponsorship because it's an incredible product that I am I have been laying my hands on for the past couple of weeks. And I tell you why I'm so excited. And I just worked out. I just got home. I'm actually, my stomach is gurgling in one's foot, but I told it, wait a second. I have to make this video because I'm extremely motivated by what I just received from FedEx and from General Electric. So FedEx here, General Electric package, incredible. I'm extremely hyped with this. So I just received what I wanted my 2023 Christmas present to be. It still isn't my Christmas present, but we're working hard towards achieving this uh, present. So we're gonna uh, buy it in the next probably couple weeks. I'm just trying out these things. So what are we talking about? Okay, I'm gonna show you without further ado. Look at this little thing right here. This is only 210, well, a little bit less, but yeah, don't, don't hate on me just because I'm off 0 0.2 or something pounds, 0 0.02 pounds. So, or something, you make the conversion. You can look at it on the, on the website. This is like 210, uh, what is it? What's not pounds? It's 210. How do you measure this thing? Grams, grams. Yeah, that's, that's the scientific um, SI or the international uh, way of weighing things. So it's 210 uh, milligrams. Okay, it's pretty light. So it's like half, it's like a fourth of a kilogram. So yeah, if you're a US person, you make the conversion, but believe me, this is um, like half a pound or less than half a pound. So it's incredibly light. So it's lighter than basically all the competition. So I've done hours of research and believe me, when I want to buy something, I make hours of research. Even if it's an empanada, even if it's a taco, I'm going to make tons of research. And these things are somewhat expensive because it's incredible technology and it makes sense. They are expensive to get this degree of technology at, in your hand. Okay. So believe me, I've made a whole lot of uh, research. So for now I am like in love of these devices. I can tell you that there are, this is one brand I'm in love and I've been in love with since 20. 17 approximately. So I'll give you just a very quick background about me. I trained in Costa Rica initially. I did cardiology in Costa Rica 2016 to 2021. And then I decided, no, I want to go to the States for several different reasons, but one of them was personal growth and yeah, growth in general. That's what I, I envisioned growth to be. And I think I'm spot on. For example, I wouldn't be able to get my hands on this device if I were right now in Latin America. So I hope it gets over there. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. So in summary, I got a hold of this little, well, yeah, I did cardiology over there, so I know how to do my own echocardiogram. So I know how to use card based ultrasound pretty well. Um, in Costa Rica, there is no echo technicians, so we have to do our own echocardiograms and we have to read our own echocardiograms. So what does that mean? It means a person that knows how to use the, these things, that knows how to look at the heart and measure all these things in the heart and maybe see a little more because if you're a good cardiologist or a good cardiology fellow, I'd expect you not only to look at the heart, I'd also like you to look at the vessels. So see if there's any atherosclerosis, any atheroma, look at the abdominal aorta, look at the, sometimes even the kidneys, but that's a, a little stretch. Uh, look at the inferior vena cava, right? Which is actually on this side and a little bit on this side. And I would also like you to look at the lungs because lungs and heart, it's like a continuum, right? And yeah, you would like to see if there's B lines, if there's plural uh, pulmonary edema. So for you to have trained in cardiology, you have to understand these devices, use them and love them. Why, why would you love an ultrasound in general? Because this is the 21st century physical examination. So if Hippocrates was alive today, like half of his quotes would have something to do with the, the findings he would see on ultrasound. He'd be like, the humors I just saw flowing from the left to right on the ultrasound with a resistance of blah, blah, blah. You get the point, right? So this is a game changer. And the reason not everyone is using it right now in the whole world is number one. Yeah, they're pretty recent. It started off with a sonocyte and also the V-scan, the cord attached and butterfly. Those were like the first three ones around. Then came others. I'm talking about handheld ultrasound. But now these things are getting wide more yeah, uh, out there. And I think that the reason most people aren't yet starting to actually use them is because they're scared. It's like, they're just scared, right? Will you go into a room, like if you're home alone and you're given the option of going into room A or room B, 
and you are told that you might get like someone would could probably scare you in the room and room a is like all lights are on and room b is dark you will go into room a because you can sort of see and you think they might come through here and they might not scare you as much so room b where there's no light is the room with the ultrasound is you not know an ultrasound right so it's easier room a is going to be use the stethoscope you've been using this since you're in med school or since you decided to be a doctor at three years of age that someone gave you a plastic stethoscope and this thing no like maybe babies of the future generation what's that alpha or i don't even know what generation babies we're talking about maybe those are receiving ultrasounds that would be nice toy ultrasound it would be like easier and they wouldn't like less risk for any problems with the device i guess so what I'm getting to is that this is the physical exam of the 21st century. And it's not me saying that this is not evidence level class, uh, what was it, expert opinion. This is based on studies. This isn't based because what can I do with this thing? So with this thing, yeah, I can listen. So first I'm going to see, then I'm going to palpate, then I'm, I might percuss, which many of us have forgotten and don't even use. But yeah, it's a thing and it helps. The other thing is you can actually listen with this thing. And I am non, I don't conform to the basics. So yeah, I got this. This is the best Thing you can get out there i know there's one that is more has more technology than this one but don't buy that one i won't say which one it is buy this one so this is the echo core so you just put it on you listen and then you push this thing and this turns our on the actually the gain function which adds as the digital uh, acoustics to the thing to the mix it's great but can you answer can you tell me if this patient has heart failure with reduced ejection fraction just based off of this based off of this and physical examination alone or based off of history yeah the answer is yeah or yes oftentimes but there are some cases that you're like this patient also has copd uh, and is short of breath has several risk factors cardiovascular risk factors could this be copd or is this copd and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction or is this a or is this only heart failure so you, what you should do is, okay, I'm going to just take this off my ears and I put it right here and I'm going to take this out of the pocket and I'm going to, so this is the other one. This is the one I just got. This is the V-Scan Air SL sector uh, phased array. This one is the one I will prefer because I trained in cardiology and this will help me look at the heart easier, right? And um, if that's, if your focus has to do a lot with uh, the heart or getting into the rib spaces right here, you'll want this one with a smaller footprint. If not, if you're like a nephrologist and you would prefer looking at the kidneys or gastroenterologist or, or anyone else, probably you could benefit a lot from this one. But most things I will be able to do with this one. So let's say I want to look at the gallbladder. So yes, this one will be able to look wider, wider into space right here and get a better similar quality or same quality image, but just wider. This one will get me the same image, just I will have to move it a little. So if you don't know what you're doing, you just move it a little and that's it. So this is the one for me. Both have here at the bottom the linear uh, phase array. So that one is going to give you a little bit more resolution with less depth. So it's going to give you like five to seven centimeters approximately. Don't quote, quote me on that. I know five centimeters for sure, maybe up to seven. But yeah, so for lungs, if you want to see a muscle, look at this, these muscles right here. We just worked out. So you can use this one right here. And it's going to be on these two sides. This one is the CL. It's called CL because curved. And this is the SL because it's like sectorial. Okay. So I have tried this one already. My program has it. I'm using it. That's the reason I'm using it. And I've done about 63 exams or studies with it uh, to date in a matter of two weeks, maybe two weeks. Um, and well, three weeks. But one of those was vacations. Yeah, it doesn't count. But look at, I'm not lying to you. I'll show you in a second. It's about, let's see if it's here. Menu. Well, it's not that you're even asking, right? But let's see how many exams it says. I'm looking at it in the app, 59. So there you have 59 different exams. The great thing is that you can send it, airdrop it, you can send it through message, you can open this thing up, right? Answers now. So this is part of the motto of General Electric. It's incredible. This is an, an echo that you can see. You can see me there in the my reflection. You can see me. I'm inside my own left ventricle. Look at it, how nice. I'm inside my own left ventricle right there. So I'll show you in another video, my full echocardiogram on my own, on myself, with a V-Scan SL. I performed about a week or two ago, and I was like, wow, I love this thing. So the image quality is incredible. Um, yeah, you have the pulse wave Doppler, so I was measuring velocities there. There are, of course, some things to improve, but some of those things General Electric is working on. I love that General Electric isn't uh, charging you for an annual subscription, so they are smart. They're like, what do they need? So they need answers now. They need to place this right there. They need to be working without a hassle and they need to just answer the question and head out. So maybe General Electric will like to do a subscription option in the future that offers X, Y, and Z. 
Okay, maybe we'll consider it. But if you don't want the subscription, you don't have to be paying an extra 500, 600 bucks on just having this to have the, your information in the cloud. So I'm not interested in my information in the cloud. I'm interested in getting the images right here, de-identified, right? And if I have to send them to someone, to the attendant, I'll send them, hey, look at this. And I'll use my protected messaging service uh, thingy. And that's gonna be it. And everything's gonna be great. So answers now, that's incredible. This thing is a uh, waterproof. So yeah, most of them are sort of waterproof, but some of them you have to actually connect the cable to charge, not this one. So don't worry about that. You just have to it's put on the surface and it's gonna connect. You actually can buy other uh, chargers that are like for iPhone and it also works. It charges like in 50 minutes, it's pretty quick. And off of one charge, it does the thing. It actually lasts, with my usage, um, I, I, let's see, I see approximately 10 to 12 patients a day. How many of them do I scan? I will scan like half. Because the other half, I maybe scanned yesterday, I already know how they're doing, they're doing better. So yeah, I don't need to rescan you every single day. I have a new patient, I have a question, I, I will just scan after I do all my physical. I'll try to answer everything with this and the physical, and then I'll be like, let's see what this will add. And yes, it adds. So this is 21st century med medicine. I don't know if I mentioned it uh, before. Yeah, I guess so, but I can't repeat it enough. Hippocrates would actually say, this is what we should be doing nowadays and adding it to our repertoire. So. I have this device right here. I'm already in love with it because I've used it once and I've been using this one for about uh, three weeks now. I think that there's no one going backwards because the hardware is excellent. The software is very good. They have to work on some things, but I have all also reached out to them and they're like, yeah, thank you. Send us an email about this. We are working on this and we're going to get this out to you guys and all that. So General Electric has always proved itself to be a great brand in echocardiography. I learned echo myself. I had two, a couple options. The card face was General Electric or the Philips. I would always, whenever there was a, a General Electric, I would get that one. And most of the people I worked with would always get the GE. So most of the cardiologists, fellows, whenever there was these two options, they would go and grab the GE. Why? Because it's extremely easy. Buttons, everything, image, great. Philips was pretty good, extremely solid as well. But the learning curve was a little higher because it wasn't as user friendly. So I'm not talking about the Lumify, which is the, I'm not talking about the handheld Philips ultrasound, I have no idea about it. I haven't reviewed it. It, it, it has a cord, so I'm not interested in it. I, I'm not interested in any handheld ultrasound that has a cord. And why am I not? Because I need answers now. I don't need a new obstacle or a cord that will fall off and I'll look stupid or walking around the hospital with an iPad and, and all these things. No, I want my work phone, let's see it. Okay, that's it and it's gone. So that's what I probably think you want as well. And what else? And this thing is tested, military tested, something like that, so it means that it, it drop test, it has passed these drop tests and looking at all the competition, none of them tells you about these drop tests. This one is the one that gives you more information about it and I would trust this one a little more. Completely waterproof, so I actually this one, I the CL, I was washing it today with a little bit of water after I used it and I felt like pretty cool. I'm like, oh yeah, and the patient's looking at me like, you you actually didn't, you saw that with that thing and now you have it like under the, the water? Yeah, so yeah, that's the technology, it works. And everyone's very uh, yeah, intrigued by this device. But of course I tell them this is for educational purposes only for myself and this is not a formal test. This is just part of my physical examination. If I see anything special, I'll let my attendant know and it will let you know. So that's about it. Highly recommended. If you're not using it yet, use it. I will make another video explaining why most of us are not using this. And in summary, I already explained is we're scared of this learning curve, but I'll, I'm gonna try to help you out. If you have any questions, let me know because I don't want you to have to teach yourself. I want to, people to have like a better guidance. And yeah, that's about it. There's another ultrasound in the market, which I think has a pretty good potential as well. But I'll first try this one out. We'll see how this one goes. And yeah, don't get me wrong. Anyone tells me they're buying this, I'm like, okay, that's a great investment. If you tell me you're buying another ultrasound, I'd be like, how much you pay? Because this one, you can pay 12 months or 24 month payment, 0% interest. Tell me who of the uh, competitors is doing 0% interest. I've already asked, either you have to pay all at once or you have to pay with these interest and in the end you pay 25% or more of what the device actually costs. Three year warranty as well. So that's also great. So I would definitely go with the 24 month option. And yeah, expect to see many of my videos, upcoming posts, including this into the mix because this is 21st century medicine. So that's Dr. Clinton with you guys. Yes, I do not think the ultrasound should replace this. It can replace it, but I'm old school. So this will always be right around my neck. I will always do this. And first also take analog, then add digital. And after that, add the ultrasound because you want to be the fullest, like the more most prepared individual you can be. So if you just stop using this, you just relay on ultrasound, I think you would be doing yourself a disservice. Just 
try to be the, the most uh, well prepared you are all around. And I love this device. I hope I can actually buy this device. And yeah, I'm gonna probably buy it within the next couple of weeks. Don't think there's any way out of this. And I'll be extremely happy of making this investment. And that's about it. See you guys in the next video. And I'm gonna water these plants. And yeah, do what you have to do. And let me know what you think. And see you in the next one.